Is it recorded? Oh, 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 oh. Hello everyone, I am Kenneth Black and welcome to Black TV News. Today we're going to talk about everything from Lil Wayne, Sorry for the Wait 2, Ray J, Moving Down the Block from Kim K, and Safari, Nicki Minaj's ex-boyfriend. Let's get it. So earlier this week, Lil Wayne had a little snippet saying that he was gonna drop a song, which he did on the next day. Uh, it's Lil Wayne shit remix off a of future song. Uh, that's that shit though. As you know, Baby, Birdman, Big Timer, whatever the fuck he is, um, is holding Lil Wayne back from dropping the Carter Five. Is it a gimmick? I don't know. If it is a gimmick, that shit's corny as hell to me. That's just my opinion. And it should be your opinion too if you're a real ass nigga. And also how you probably saw on Twitter and the whole social media universe, 2 Chainz was on Nancy Grace the other day and they were debating on legalizing marijuana. Nancy Grace explained a lot that she didn't want to see kids getting control of marijuana and 2 Chainz basically explained that anybody could get fucking weed. You know, he also described that a lot of legalization of marijuana can change the state, it could change the United States forever. You can think about a lot of people that got locked up for weed and now can't get jobs or things like that. People selling weed, people getting killed over weed. I'm not gonna minimize and say it's not like cocaine. People really aren't getting killed over weed and if they are, that's, that's tragic. Like you getting killed over a dime bag, B? Come on, B. It's ridiculous. All right, so we're also gonna talk about Ray J today. Uh, Ray J supposedly put down about $2.7 million on a home that happens to be on the same block as Kim Ye. If anybody doesn't know who Ray J is, he's known for his hits. What'd you say? I hit it first. Um, basically speaking about how he had sex with Kim Kardashian, and if you don't know her, she's the one that was in the video with Ray J on all the porn sites that you probably visited and saw her off. Who am I to judge? She made millions. Will Ray J finally get his one wish and make the second sex tape? It could be like a fucking Chronicles or something. I just have high hopes. Safari was on The Breakfast Club earlier this week talking about his relationship with Nicki Minaj. I'm gonna have to say he he was a, he's a real ass nigga for a lot of that. He could have really went on there and bashed her, talk about how she be fucking and all that shit, but he kept it real. And just two thumbs up for me. They also talked about how he might have wrote some of those crazy ass bars that a lot of us hear her say. Is he getting any money for it? Who knows? I mean, he was wearing a fucking squirrel around his neck, so who knows? But. That's all the news I have for you today. So remember, don't text and drive. If you kill somebody, you can kill yourself. Signing off.